Assalamu alaikum. We are here with the second uh, video on the genre. So after discussing drama as a genre, now we are discussing novel. So here we have again Mr. Rabi Yusuf, uh, whose earlier video was liked by you. Thank you very much. Uh, let's see what has been the evolution of novel. Assalamu alaikum. So today we are going to study the history and origin and the development of English novel. As we know that novel is also a genre of literature, but it was developed somewhat later as if we compare it with drama and poetry. So first of all, today we will be studying its origin and then we will be studying as well that why it was developed. I mean to say what were the factors that influenced the rise of the novel and then we will be studying the rise of the novel and the development of the novel with all genres. So first of all, let's see that the word novel. Actually, the word novel is uh, derived from Italian word, which means new. And if we see the definition of the novel, it means novel is a fictitious prose narrative of considerable length in which characters, actions, representative of uh, life are portrayed in a plot of a more or less complexity. So it means it is reflecting basically five elements are there in which characters are there, setting is there, plot is there and plot can be somewhat complex or simple or it can follow the five elements that were given by Aristotle. Then conflict is there and then at the end that conflict is resolved but we can say resolution. So these basic five elements are there that work in a novel and the basic thing is its length as well that makes a difference between novel and short story. So now uh, uh, let's see what was the origin and how the novel was developed in the history of English literature. So, if we start the novel, we will start the English history of the English history. So, we come to know that even in the age of Anglo Saxon, although there was not a developed genre of novel, but we can see the seeds of English novel were there as well. In, in their writing, some, some features of English novel were there. I mean to say that if we uh, see the writing of Thomas Morley, that was a very famous writer of Anglo-Norman age, and his work his work was there uh, a Middle French word whose name was Le Morte de Arthur. It means uh, the death of Arthur. Basically, it was uh, they were tales about legend King Arthur. So in that work, we also see uh, the seeds of novel that there is a heroic character, but but basically it is a novel. It is a work of romance, but we can see the heroic characters and adventures that has the seeds of novel and if we come about uh, to Geoffrey Chaucer who is a, who is the greatest poet of the English history so if we see his work Trialis and Cressida it has also seeds of novel it has also some features of novel we can see a very good plot construction in that uh, work we can see some uh, conversational dialogues in that novel in, in that work so uh, just because of this this Geoffrey Chaucer is also called grandfather of English novel. So if we trace uh, in a such a way the history of novel, we, we come to know that even in 17th uh, century, there was a work Don Cohito. So that was published in 1612 and it has also some features of novel. It it is a work that has fantasy and realism and basically it was the realism that uh, through uh, through this element Don Cohito can be regarded as a novel. So basically as we know that novel uh, becomes a genre in 18th century but as we people are just tracing the history the origin so if we see the 17th century so we find uh, two persons whose works can be regarded novels. So if we see uh, we see a person whose name is John Bunyan and whose work Pilgrim's Progress that was published in 1678 and it was an allegorical work that that was also debated as a English novel and there is another uh, work by John Bunyan and that's name is The Life and Death of Mr. Badman that was published in 1680 and it was also a religious allegory and that also was debated as a novel and then there was a female writer uh, the first 
first female writer we can say that was afra ben and whose work was oronko that was published in 1688 and basically it was a history of the royal slave that was also considered as a novel so, so these two persons were there and those uh, three writings whose name i have just uttered they have been being debated as novels but if we see these novels in the context of today's uh, the today's feature of novel or in a definition of modern novel or in a definition of novel we cannot call them a uh, novel in strict Uh, sense of the word but still they there is a debate that they can be regarded as a novel and let me tell you one thing that it it's a long debate that which novel is the first english novel if we see that uh, if we see if we search it from different resources uh, resources even from google and this and that we always find different types of novel but these works can be debated and can be regarded as uh, the foundations of the english novel and then this was a 17th century and so now we will be coming towards 18th century in which uh, novel uh, novel occurs or novel emerges as a complete genre but let me tell you first of all the factors that influenced the rise of the novel uh, like in a strict sense we can say that abhi tak jo hai wo novel us tarah se genre ke taur par nahi aaya kuch works aise hain jin pe debate ki jaati rahi unki chand features features ki wajah se like realism ki wajah se ya heroic characters ki wajah se ya jo societal descriptions ki wajah se ya biographical ya autobiographical touch ki wajah se ki unme kuch features aise the jo ki novels mein hote hain lekin tharo tharo वो नॉवेल्स कंसीडर नहीं किए जाते रहे बल्कि वो प्रोज वर्क ही कंसीडर किए जाते रहे सो एटींथ सेंचुरी में नॉवेल जो है वो एक जॉनरे के तौर पर उभरता है सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल लेट्स सी द फैक्टर्स दैट इन्फ्लुएंस द राइज ऑफ द नॉवेल सो द फर्स्ट एंड द मेन फैक्टर वाज इंडस्ट्रियल रेवोल्यूशन यस एज वी पीपल नो दैट इंडस्ट्रियल रेवोल्यूशन वाज द रेवोल्यूशन दैट जस्ट स्टर्ड द होल इंग्लैंड एंड व्हाट हैपेंड there were machines machine work became machine work comes and the man power started lessening and what happens when machines were working so people uh, uh, the, so the people got somewhat leisure so they spent this leisure in reading some novels and printing press was also available so this caused the persons uh, uh, this caused the persons write novel and people started reading novels as well then the second main reason was decline of romance and drama romance was the people, romance was the work that people got bored with them no? heroic character was there and knights were there and they were fighting for damsels and this and that people people was just getting bored from romances and drama we saw that drama was uh, drama also faced decline in a uh, puritan age because pure in puritan age theaters were closed and due to civil war so and after william shakespeare no great dramatist uh, touched that zenith as was touched by shakespeare so drama was declined so in this way people got with bored with romance and no drama was there so it, this thing created novel and then the third reason was that the a third factor was that the rise of the middle class yes due to industrial revolution uh, middle class sprung up and what happens earlier there was only two classes upper classes and lower classes and basically ye jo middle class aayi thi wo lower class hi thi lekin industrial revolution ki wajah se unka jo hai wo financial status jo hai wo strong hota hai aur wo jo hai wo middle class ke taur par hamare samne aate hain so as it was lower class first so these people were not very educated and we see that poetry that was uh, that was the main genre in the last ages so poetry jo hai wo in logon ke liye bahut hard thi kyunki humne dekha 17th century mein pope jaise logon ne jo likha it was it was classical and it was bit hard for for the middle class people to understand so for their understanding the writers started writing novel and basically novel was written for the sake of middle class so uh, we can see that uh, the representation and the portrayal of middle class was there and there were women readers uh, that increased with the passage of time women wanted to read the novel so that's when novel was being written and the fourth reason was that mobile libraries yes at that time mobile libraries were there what type of libraries actually there were the libraries that have vehicle libraries that that could move from place to place so there was very easy access to the books printing press was also become uh, printing press also became cheaper so all these factors caused the rise of the novel so now let's 
टेक ए बर्ड आई व्यू ऑफ एटीन सेंचुरी सो इफ वी टॉक अबाउट एटीन सेंचुरी अगेन हियर वी हैव टू पॉइंटर्स ऑफ द इंग्लिश नॉवल पॉइंटर्स इन सेंस दैट दीज टू पर्सन रोट अगेन सम टाइप ऑफ वर्क दैट कुड बी डिबेटेड एज अ नॉवल सो दीज टू वर्क दीज टू पर्सन हु बिलोंग टू एटीन सेंचुरी आर डेनियल डेफ्यू एंड जोनाथन स्विफ्ट सो डेनियल डेफ्यू वॉज द पर्सन हु कैन बी कॉल्ड राधर हु इज कॉल्ड ओरिजिनेटर ऑफ द इंग्लिश नॉवल why because he was the person who brought realism to the novel and he was the person who brought uh, who brought the touch of psychology uh, in the novel he peeps into the human psyche and he gives a, a very fine characters he was born in london and he was a merchant and manufacturer as well and he is called first master or true master of english novel and the work that is considered and that is debated as a novel it was robinson crusoe that was written in 1719 and this is also is debated as a first modern novel but even then it is debated in the modern context we cannot call it is we cannot call it a mod a novel in a strict word uh, in a strict sense of the word why because here again in this uh, here again this work the feature of romance is predominated and then jonathan swift was there who is famous for style and allegory and his work gulliver's travels that was written in 1726 that is also debated as a novel but again we cannot call it a novel so all these persons were we can say uh, ans- ancestors or, or originators of the novel but now we are coming towards the novelists that are really called novelists so first of all uh, in 18th century uh, there was a, a f- very famous phrase for the novelist and it was four wheels of novel yes four wheels of novel in four in four, four wheels of novel basically there were four writers and the first one was samuel richardson yes samuel richardson was the person who is credited with writing first important novel yes abhi tak jitne bhi novel humne discuss kiye hain un pe debate hi ki ja sakti hai ki wo first novel hai ya nahi hai even डेनियल डेफ्यू का है या ओरोंको है या जॉन बुनियन का पिलग्रिम्स प्रोग्रेस है जो जोनाथन स्विफ्ट ग्लिवर्स ट्रेवल्स है उन सब पे डिबेट की जा सकती है लेकिन सैम्यूल और चेडसन ने 1740 में जो पामेला और वर्चुअल रिवॉर्डेड नामी नॉवल लिखा उस पे बिल्कुल भी डिबेट नहीं की जा सकती दैट इज रियली ए नॉवल इन स्ट्रिक्ट सेंस ऑफ द वर्ल्ड एंड इट इज इन अपिसलरी फॉर्म अपिसलरी फॉर्म दैट इट इज रिटन इन अ लेटर राइटिंग फॉर्म दैट डिस्क्राइब्स द ट्रेल्स एंड ट्रेबुलेशंस ऑफ अ हैप्पी मैरिज ऑफ अ यंग गर्ल mela and samuel richardson was the person who has focused a lot on female chastity and he has also shown realism and he has also shown psychological study of the characters and then if we talk about regis uh, uh, richardson's novel basically there are some other uh, some other novels that has been written by richardson that is clarissa the history of a young lady then there is uh, sir charles gradson and then in response to the novels written by samuel richardson there was another novel writer and whose name was henry fielding henry fielding was the person who is called father of english novel yes and so walter scott was the person who called him father of english novel and he is regarded the greatest 18th century novelist as well and in or in in response to pamela he was the person who wrote shamela yes as i told you people that in pamela uh, richardson uh, focused more and more on female chastity so henry fielding was the person in who in shamela responds more to more male uh, chastity and then he wrote novel like joseph uh, joseph andrews that was a very famous novel and he, in that novel he also focused on male chastity rather joseph andrews is a uh, imaginative or considered brother of pamela then uh, joseph uh, joseph andrews is a novel that is a picorsic novel and uh, it is uh, a, what is a picorsic novel i'll be describing later on in the types of novel and there was jonathan wild history of tom jones a found a found link Uh, amelia so these were also novels written by henry fielding so in the four wheels of novel two novels we have discussed and the third one is tobis uh, samlet tobis samlet was the person who followed henry fielding's tradition of writing picarsic novel and these novels were full of intrigues and adventures but he was the person who could not be compared with fielding as he lacked that genius and that realism as was the feature of fielding's novel and if we see his novel the best novels are rudrick random and uh, humphrey clinker 
so now coming towards the fourth wheel of novel the last one it was lord stern lord stern was a person who shows whims and sentimental tears and the best novel and the most renowned novel by lord stern is tristan shandy that was written in 1767 and if we want to uh, know the importance of that novel we come to know shopen hire that was a, a famous uh, critic he calls it one of the four immortal romance so these were the four wheels of novel uh, but we can see that uh, oliver goldsmith was also a novelist and he wrote only one novel in that era and this was the vicar of wake field and this is regarded the best novel in english language because it shows domestic life and it shows a uh, romantic ending as well so these were the novels by 18th century so now coming towards 19th century so if we talk about 19th century we we know very well that the novel is uh, 18th century uh, 19th century is divided among two literary periods one was a uh, romantic period and other was victorian but first uh, let me tell you as i told you people that i'll be telling you about the types of novel i'll be talking about post 18th century or 19th century novel because uh, as we know that in victorian era basically it was the victorian era that was the rise of the novel so let me tell you that what types of novel we are going to meet in victorian era so first of all the no the type of novel that we meet in 19th century it is a novel of manners yes it was basically influenced by romanticism we do know very well that poetry influenced the novel and especially the cult of feelings known as sensibility and jane austen was the person who presented detailed portrayal of how women's behavior were being determined and how the, how it it influenced the whole society yes he shows that how women should be behaving in a ball or in a society and jane austen was the person who wrote novel of manners and pride and prejudice sense and sensibility mansfield park these novel can be called novel of manners then we we are going to meet we will be meeting historical novels and historical novels that uh, tells us about historical events and these novels were written by sir walter scott and he was the person who introduced historical novel Robby Rai and even who are the examples of it. Then we have chronicle novels. Chronicle novels are the novels that provide narrative from childhood to adulthood, even with dates. So Emma by Jane Austen and Jane Eyre by Charlotte Bronte can be regarded as chronicle novels. And then we will uh, see Gothic novels. Yes, Gothic novels we uh, we see in Romantic era and Gothic novels or Gothic fiction is the fiction that deals with supernaturalism, and we see the elements of mystery horror or medieval settings and the element element of romance is also predominated there and mrs annie redcliffe was the person who wrote gothic novel and the first gothic novel basically was written by horace walpole and the name was the castle of otranto and uh, wuthering heights wuthering heights by, uh, by emily bronte was also a gothic novel and the fifth type of novel that we will be meeting in 19th century was regional novel yes regional novel means a novel that is written uh, that is written about a specific region and the greatest the greatest uh, regional novelist is thomas hardy and wh whose greatest uh, region is wessex we all know that he has written wessex poems and wessex novels as well the return of the native mayor of casterbridge tess of gerberwolf is um, are fine examples of wessex novels and george eliot can also be regarded as regional novelist because we see that she also gives rural settings and the sixth type of novel that we will be meeting in uh, post 19 in century novel is a stream of consciousness novels that uh, basically this is a novel of modern time and uh, modern time and james and jo uh, james joyce virginia woolf are the main protagonist of the stream of consciousness novels and basically they focus on subjectivity and interior monologue non linear narration of events and inner working of mind and this and that when we will be discussing modern novel inshallah we will be discussing all these elements one by one but here if we if you want to have an example of stream of consciousness 
business novels to the lighthouse and uh, by virginia wolf and ulysses by james joyce are the are the best examples so these were the types of novel that we will be meeting in 19th century so we have seen the features so now let's talk about the novelist of the 19th century so in the 19th uh, in the 19th century first of all we see the romantic era that start from 1798 and it goes till 1832 or we can say in strict sense 1820 So the first novelist that we see is Mrs. Uh, Anne Redcliffe, and Mrs. Uh, Anne Redcliffe is a very great novel because uh, it is about her that said mighty and generous Shakespeare of romance. Yes, it was said by Mrs. Anne Redcliffe that he is the Shakespeare of romance, and basically, he uh, she is famous for Gothic novels, and basically, uh, she wrote uh, round about uh, five novels, and among these five novels, the uh, the most famous novels are Italian and the Mysteries of Adolfo. And then, if we come about uh, another novelist, the most famous novelist said that yeah, that is Jane Austen. Uh, we all know that it is a paradox that he was an uh, that uh, she was an anti romantic in romantic age, and uh, but she has given a true reflection and of society, and she was untouched by all the revolutionary thoughts of that era. She has, um, we can say, uh, two inches of ivory. that shows his restricted approach but she is opposite to the extra wagon style of mrs uh, redcliff and sir, uh, sir walter scott and basically she has uh, she has written only six novels among the six novels the best and the most famous is pride and prejudice then we have emma then we have sense and sensibility then we have mansfield park uh, nothanger abbey and then we have uh, the last one persuasion the most complex of the all novel is persuasion and then we come to know about the third novelist of that era that is sir walter scott as uh, I, as i have told you people that he was the person who wrote historical novels so the most famous series of novel by so uh, walter scott is the verdi novels and th uh, that are historical novels but it does not mean that he wrote only historical novels he wrote also the novels that were based on his personal experience and among the personal experience novels we have guy and ring the antiquary and old mortality and if we come to know about historical novels even who and kenel worth and the talisman are the historical novels but basically he is famous for beverly novels that was a series of novels and if we can do comparison between sir walter scott and jane austen as well jane austen was the person who wrote about domestic description but walter scott was the person who wrote about history jane austen was the person who deals rural life and free from passion and great actions and walter scott was a person who was who wrote chivalric romance exciting romantic adventurous tales and people of broader lever so these three main protagonist were uh, these three main protagonist belong to the novelist of the uh, romantic age uh, romantic age but let me tell you that there was another novelist that is mary shelley that uh, she is wife of pb shelley and she wrote science fiction that we can say that was the first science fiction and it was frankenstein that was written in 18 and 1800 and 18 but uh, it was called the first science fiction uh, and then this was the romantic age and now we will be coming to uh, we will be coming towards the victorian age that is basically the rise of the novel but as usual let me tell you first of all the ma major themes and or major features of the victorian era novel and if we see uh, particularly about the novelists of that era particularly we see that there were uh, five major novelists as victorian era is so long and in order to get better understanding we can divide it in two eras early victorian era and later victorian era but on the whole i'll be telling you the major themes of the victorian era so as we know that uh, uh, victorian era is the era that has uh, seen a development in many senses in many uh, scenes or many areas of life there was social development there was educational development there was uh, uh, religious development or we can say there was science scientific developments that affected religion a lot so we hear first of all the main theme of the uh, the main theme of the novel is individual versus society yes individual versus society or you can say that individual versus nature or nature means 
रिलीजन बिकॉज इधर हमने देखा था कि डार्विन के जैसे ही वो उसने अपनी जो है वो थीरी जो है वो पब्लिश की थी और बुक पब्लिश की थी ओरिजिन ऑफ द स्पीशीज अब उसने क्या किया था ही टॉक्स अबाउट द एवोल्यूशन ऑफ ह्यूमन बींग्स उसकी उस बुक से पहले ओनली रिलीजन वॉज द देयर दैट वॉज टॉकिंग अबाउट द क्रिएशन ऑफ मैन सिर्फ और सिर्फ इंसान को अपनी क्रिएशन के बारे में जो पता चल सकता था वो रिलीजन से पता चल जाता था सो रिलीजन वॉज लाइक अ सुपर नेचुरल थिंग एंड मैन वर अफ्रेड फ्रॉम रिलीजन एंड फ्रॉम गॉड एंड फ्रॉम नेचर एज वेल बट जैसे ही डार्विन जो है वो इंसान के क्रिएशन के बारे में बताता है जिसमें वो रिलीजन को गॉड को जो है वो निगेट करता है तो पीपल गॉड बिट अवे फ्रॉम द रिलीजन उनका जो एक किस्म का वो जो डर था वो थोड़ा सा लेस uh, होता गया बिकॉज दे हैड एन अदर रिसोर्स फॉर नोइंग अबाउट द क्रिएशन सो दैट्स वाई वी सी ए वॉर बिटवीन इंडिविजुअल एंड नेचर एंड दैट वॉर इज बेस्ट डिपिक्टेड इन हार्ड इज नॉवल इसमें इस तरह हुआ था कि राइटर्स uh, ने जो है वो वाकई ही नेचर के खिलाफ लिखना शुरू कर दिया था नेचर को जो है वो उन्होंने बतौर होस्टाइल फोर्स जो है दिखाना शुरू कर दिया कि नेचर जो है वो कैसे हर स्टेप पे जो है वो इंसान को डिफेट कर रही होती है सो नेचर वर्स इंडिविजुअल वर्सेज नेचर वॉज द थीम इंडिविजुअल वर्सेज सोसाइटी वॉज द थीम एंड देन वी सी रियलिज्म रियलिज्म बेसिकली दिस इज द फ्यूचर ऑफ रियलिज्म दैट मेक्स ए नॉवल ए नॉवल so realism was there and another major feature of the victorian era writing was serialization serialization means the novel was published in serials form in journals like we see charles dickens the you know, one of the greatest novels of the one, one of the greatest novelists of the victorian era uske jitne bhi novel hain wo serial form mein chapa karte the rather wo khud bhi ek journalist tha na sketches by boss ya kuch is tarah jo hai wo unke kya the wo uske journal se wo jo hai wo khud bhi journalist tha uske novel pe jo hai wo pehle सीरियल्स में छपते थे बाद में जाकर जो है वो बुक फॉर्म में हमारे सामने आते हैं सो अगेन वी वी सी द एलिमेंट ऑफ रोमांटिक रोमांटिसिज्म एज वेल रोमांटिसिज्म चूंकि पिछली ही एज थी तो उसके अभी कुछ असरा बाकी थे रोमांटिसिज्म इस तरह से कि अभी तक जो है वो नेचर हमें नॉवल्स में दिखाई देती दे थी जॉर्ज इलेट के नॉवल देखे टॉमस हार्डी के नॉवल देखे तो नेचर जो है वो हमें प्रिवेलिंग उधर जो है वो दिखाई देती है विद ऑल हर चार्म्स देन वी सी दैट देर वॉज इंटलेक्चुअलिज्म यस वी सो द राइटर्स विद देर ओन फिलोसफी टॉमस हार्डी की फिलोसफी अलग है जॉर्ज इलियट की फिलोसफी अलग है सो देर वर द राइटर्स विद देर ओन फिलोसफी देन वी सो दैट एज इट वॉज इन एन इरा ऑफ इंडस्ट्रियलिज्म सो वी सो द राइटर्स वर सेटराइजिंग द इंडस्ट्रियलिज्म एंड वेरियस ऑस्पेक्ट ऑफ सोसाइटी चार्ल्स टिकन्स नॉवल वी कैन से दे आर द बेस्ट पीस ऑफ स्टाइल दैट इज डन ऑन सोसाइटल सोसाइटीज सम ऑस्पेक्ट एंड देन वी सो दैट बायोग्राफिकल and autobiographical elements were also there so now let's talk about the victorian novelists so first of all uh, in the early victorian period we see that charles dickens is the greatest novel writer and he was the person whose novel are the basically whose novel are the amalgam of basically two things one is journalism and the other thing is melodrama so if we want to uh, know about uh, the depth or uh, the real style of the charles dickens we must know that he was a journalist or being a journalist it was his duty to uh, to visit the each corner of the society in order to get news to wo banda aisa tha ki jo gali gali mein phirta tha aur jo hai wo news collect karta tha he was a reporter as well aur jo banda reporter hai aur jisse news collect karni hai to uski observation jo hai wo bahut deep hogi he was the person who who had observed each corner each scene of the society so wo uske jo deep observation है उसके जो सोसाइटी के बारे में डीप ऑब्जर्वेशन है वो हमें उसकी राइटिंग के बारे में भी मिलती है उसकी राइटिंग जो है वो सोसाइटी पे जो वो स्टाइल करता है ही हैज ही हैड सीन चाइल्ड लेबर ही हैड सीन द द नेगेटिव ऑस्पेक्ट्स ऑफ इंडस्ट्रियलिज्म सो ही हैज शोन ऑल दीस ऑस्पेक्ट्स इन हिज नॉवल सो बट एज अ नॉवलिस्ट वी सी सम ड्रॉबैक्स इन हिज नॉवल एज वेल दैट इज लूज प्लॉट उसके कुछ जो स्टार्टिंग वाले नॉवल्स हैं उनमें जो है वो हमें कुछ लूज प्लॉट मिलते हैं प्लॉट कंस्ट्रक्शन उसकी कुछ इतनी अच्छी नहीं लाइक मार्टन चुसलीवन टॉबी एंड सन एंड डेविड कॉपरफील्ड इसमें जो है वो इसमें इसके प्लॉट कंस्ट्रक्शन जो है वो लूज है लूज किस तरह से है कि वो एपिसोडिकल प्लॉट देता है उसके नॉर्थ उसके प्लॉट्स ऐसे हैं कि जो एपिसोडिकल हैं उनका आपस में उस तरह से जो है वो रब्त नहीं है उस तरह कोहिडेंट होल नहीं है ऑर्गेनिक होल नहीं है लेकिन 
बाद में जो है ही इज सक्सीडेड इन प्लॉट कंस्ट्रक्शन एंड इन ब्लैक हाउस डोरिट ए टेल ऑफ टू सिटीज एंड एडवर्ड रोड वी वी कम टू नो दैट हिज प्लॉट कंस्ट्रक्शन गेट्स इंप्रूव्ड एंड अनदर थिंग दैट इज दैट इज स्पेसिफिक फीचर ऑफ हिज नॉवेल्स इट इज मेलोड्रामा मेलोड्रामा मींस वो कुछ सीन्स ऐसे देता है कि जो फुल ऑफ एग्जैजरेशन है द रिटर्न ऑफ द नेटिव में जो है वो लूसी जब अपने फादर से मिलती है आफ्टर 18 इयर्स तो वो सीन बहुत ज्यादा मेलोड्रामेटिक है कि किस तरह एक बेटी जो कि कंसीडर करती है कि his fa- her father is dead but after 18 years uh, she is meeting to her father and that is not in a um, actual mental stability to phir jo unka jo uh, ek scene hai that is really heart rending scene another greatest uh, another one of the greatest writers of the early victorian period is william macbeth taker william macbeth taker basically he was born in india and if we compare him with dickens he was the person that was quite opposite to dickens because taker was born of rich parents and spent young days in very comfort but dickens was the person he belongs to a poor family and struggled hard in young days jaisa ki dickens ke novel mein bhi milta hai ki uske jo main characters hote hain chahe wo great expectation ka ho chahe wo david cooper uh, david cooper field mein pip ho wo hamesha जो है हमें स्ट्रगल करते हुए दिखा देते हैं और उसके नॉवेल्स जो है वो बिल्कुल हमें जो है वो एक यंग हीरो है और वो स्ट्रगल कर रहा है उस वो उस तरह के जो है हम सारे मिलते हैं अच्छा टैकरे जो है वो रिच पेरेंट्स से पैदा हुआ था लेकिन फिर भी जो है वो उसका एटीट्यूड टू वर्ल्ड लाइफ जो वर्ल्ड है वो सिनिकल है लेकिन डिकन्स आल दो के पुअर फैमिली से बिलोंग करता है वो चेयरफुल है उसकी जो आउटलुक है वो चेयरफुल है ना आल दो के डिकन्स का हमें पता है कि उसके फादर जो है वो जेल में भी काफी अर्सा रहा उसके नॉवेल्स में भी हमें ऑटोबायोग्राफिकल टच मिलता है लेकिन फिर भी जो है वो हमें टिमिज्म दिखाता है लेकिन टैक्रे के बारे में अगर देखें वो रियलिस्ट है मॉरलिस्ट है लेकिन उसके साथ साथ जो है वो हमें पैसिमिज्म भी दिखाता है टैक्रे के बारे में इंपॉर्टेंट बात यह है कि ही वाज द पर्सन हु रोट ए नॉवेल दैट हुज नेम वाज वैनिटी फेयर एंड सब टाइटल वाज नॉवेल विदाउट हीरो यस ये जैसे अगर हम हेनरी फील्डिंग के नॉवेल्स देखें या चार्ल्स टिकन्स के नॉवेल देखें तो दीस वर द दीस वर द नॉवेल्स हु वर फोकसिंग ऑन ए मेन फिगर ए मेन हीरो प्रोटैगोनिस्ट बट विलियम मेक Taker was the person who wrote a novel without hero. Basically, Vanity Fair was a novel about two ladies. Becky Sharp was one of them. So he wrote another uh, novel that is Henry Osmond and Pendennis was there as well. So these were the two major novelists. But minor novelists are also there in early Victorian period, and they are basically two sisters that are very famous: that uh, Charlotte Bronte and Emily Bronte. And basically, they are three sisters that the uh, other Others name is Anne Bronte, but two are very famous: Charlotte Bronte and Emily Bronte. And in दोनों ने जो है वो एक-एक work इनका ऐसा है कि जो इनकी वजह शोहरत है. For example, if we talk about Emily Bronte, तो उसका Wuthering Heights जो है जिनका मैंने अभी पहले भी आपको बताया, that is an example of gothic fiction. It is very famous, and uh, that was written by Emily Bronte and Charlotte Bronte का जो एक novel है John Arry. जो कि उसके जो है वो करेक्टर की सारी डेवलपमेंट दिखाता है दैट इज ए मास्टर पीस बाय शॉर्लेट और उसकी जो है वजह शोहरत भी है देन वी हैव मिसेस गास्कल चार्ल्स किंग्स चार्ल्स किंग्स किंग्सले एंटनी ट्रोलॉब एज द राइटर्स ऑफ अर्ली विक्टोरियन इरा so now if we come towards novelist of the later victorian era so basically here uh, the novel becomes modern to some an extent yes modern jo novel hai uske seeds jo hai wo wahan jahan pe shuru ho jate hain jo ki 20th century mein jo hai wo hame full fledged ek modernism ke ja ke jo hai wo ek movement milegi lekin uske seeds jo hai wo abhi idhar se hame shuru ho rahe hain and the novel and the novelist who are portraying uh, modern bent of mind are george eliot george meredith and thomas Hart. और जॉर्ज एलियट को द फर्स्ट जो है वो मॉडर्न मॉडर्निस्ट भी कहा जाता है फर्स्ट साइकोलॉजिस्ट नॉवल भी कहा जाता है एंड ऑल दीज थ्री नॉवलिस्ट हैव शॉर्ट कंट्रास्ट विद अर्लियर नॉवलिस्ट दे अटेम्प्टेड टू मेक नॉवल एज सीरियस एज पोएट्री वॉज एंड दे वर बेसिकली इन्फ्लुएंस्ड बाय द फ्रेंच नॉवलिस्ट now let's talk about the, uh, one of the greatest novelist of the victorian era that is george eliot and he she is basically famous uh, for as a moralist and psychoanalyst and let me tell you about an interesting uh, thing about george eliot basically her name was not george eliot we all know that her name was mary ann evans but because at that time uh, writing by female were not considered a good thing or she herself thought that might be her works may not get as famous so as it they were they will be written by फीमेल सो वट शी डिड उसने जो अपने नॉवेल्स हैं वो एक मेल के नाम से जो है पब्लिश करवाए 
and she is a person who pioneer of modern english novel and uh, she is con- considered as atheist but she is not an atheist Bas- basically she is a moralizer and uh, uh, her religion is morality her religion is love and he sh- she shows deterministic approach as well and she shows a moral conflict as well and if we see as a novelist basically she has wrote, written seven novels uh, scenes of clerical uh, scenes of clerical life was the first novel by her and then adam bid the famous written 18 59 and then mill of the flowers silas marner romalo and then middle march these were the famous novel of george eliot and she is considered regional novelist as well because he she herself was born in english village named warwickshire and she observed minutely uh, rural life and portrayed the same habits the same customs and the same things in her novels so uh, now we let's talk about george meredith george meredith was a poet philosopher and novelist as well and uh, he was a poet uh, that loved modernity and he stands apart from the fiction of the century and did not follow any tradition yes and he wrote mostly about upper class and he illustrate the activity of comic spirit as well and if we want to know about the novel the ordeal of richard feverel that was the best novel with george meredith because here in this novel he shows the ill advised bringing of in only sense and then uh, even herington was another novel the egoistis was a famous comedy uh, that was george uh, that was by george meredith and the last but not the least the greatest my favorite writer thomas hardy thomas hardy is the greatest writer of victorian era and why he is victorian because uh, he is a person who has unique philosophy who has a unique character his characters are rare but are universal justicia why ke character all do ki wo ek rare character है बट शी इज अवर्सल पर्सन शी इज अवर्सल पर्सन उसका जो करेक्टर है ऑल दो शी इज नॉट अ मॉरली गुड पर्सन सी ब्राइट हेड जो इसकी एक अहम प्रोटेगोनिस्ट है टॉमस हार्डी की शी इज नॉट अ गुड पर्सन वी कैन से लेकिन वो ऐसी फीमेल्स हैं ऐसी फीमेल्स हैं कि हम फिर भी उनसे इंस्पायर हुए बगैर नहीं रह सकते टॉमस हार्डी का जो वेसिक्स है जो एकदम हीथ है ऑल दो दे आर एन इनकॉर्नेशन ऑफ इवल एंड दे आर होस्ट अमंग द होस्टाइल फोर्सेज ऑफ नेचर बट इवन देन वी जस्ट वॉन्ट टू सी देम वी वॉन्ट टू live in agden heath because agden heath is timeless Ag- agden heath is like unchangeable so uh, thomas hardy is the greatest person and he is a unique philosophy and he is not a pessimist as he is being alleged as a pessimist he is he is basically a uh, realist because it was it was fate that uh, that is cruel to women that is cruel to person not basically thomas hardy and if we want to know about the novels of the thomas hardy basically the woodlanders the return of the native for from the madding crown the mayor of castlebridge that of dior bulls was the master basis by thomas harding so these were the basic person then we have uh, robert L- louis stevenson george gissing and uh, some other minor novelist of victorian era as well but we have dealt all the f- uh, five major novelist of this era so this was uh, basically 19th century and now we were talking about uh, uh, basically 20th century and what we can say modern novel and let me tell you here modernism also start and we are not to get confused about the modernism or modern novel because it's not a rocket science basically there are some features there are some themes that makes a novel a modern novel but uh, first of all we need to know the background of the modern novel or modernism uh, we all know that in 20th century jo hai uske literature pe jo hai wo world wars ka bahut zyada asar raha hai especially if we, if we are talking about modern literature literature or modernism aur isko agar hum dekhe era ke agar years ke hawale se आपने डिवाइड करना है तो वो हम उसको 1901 से लेके जो है वो 1940 तक करेंगे क्योंकि बेसिकली जो मॉडर्निस्ट थे उनके जो दो प्रोटेगोनिस्ट थे दे वर वर्जीनिया वुल्फ और जेम्स चॉइस तो उनकी डेथ जो होती है वो 1941 में उन दोनों की डेथ हो जाती है तो अगर प्रिसाइसली आपने पोस्ट मॉडर्निज्म और मॉडर्निज्म को जियर्स के हवाले से भी अगर आपने सेपरेट करना है बड़ी कॉन्शियस हो गए तो फिर हम उसको जो है वो नाइनटीन तक रिकॉर्ड कर सकते हैं इन वन सेंस इन वन सेंस नॉट ऑन द होल अच्छा मॉडर्निज्म में अगर हम देखें एंड स्पेसिफिकली अबाउट नॉवल दैट इज आवर टॉपिक सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल द नॉवल वाज रियली अफेक्टेड बाय वर्ल्ड वॉर 1 एंड व्हाई बिकॉज़ वर्ल्ड वॉर 1 के जो है वो सोशली इकोनॉमिकली बहुत ज्यादा जो है वो क्राइसिस लोगों ने देखे थे सोशल अनरेस्ट थी लोगों में लोग जो है वो बिल्कुल डिसइल्यूजेंट हो गए थे उन्होंने इतनी डेथ्स देखी थी उनका जो है वो फाइनेंशियली इकोनॉमिकली और उनके डियर एंड नियर वंस की डेथ जो है वो उनकी आंखों के सामने हुई थी तो ऑल द वैल्यूज वर स्केटर्ड ऑल द थिंग्स दैट वर वेरी important before the world war 1 they just got disillusioned and moral and ethical degradation were there so here the novel dis- 
नॉवल इज बेसिकली डिस्क्रिप्शन ऑफ द इनर वर्ल्ड जो नॉवल राइटर्स हैं बेसिकली उन्होंने ऑब्जेक्टिविटी को छोड़ के सब्जेक्टिविटी आ गए थे जो एक इनर वर्ल्ड है उन उसको दिखाया था एंड uh, जो हमारी जो इनर वर्ल्ड है दैट इज अ फ्रेगमेंटेशन ऑफ थॉट्स इफ वी इवन इफ वी हैव अ बर्स आई फ्यू ऑफ अवर थॉट्स एज वेल वी कम टू नो दैट आवर थॉट्स आर नॉट इन अ वेरी कलेक्टिव वे समटाइम्स वी आर थिंकिंग अबाउट द प्रेजेंट एंड समटाइम्स वी आर वी आर थिंकिंग अबाउट द पास्ट एंड समटाइम्स वी आर थिंकिंग अबाउट द फ्यूचर और इस फ्रेगमेंटेशन ऑफ थॉट्स को बेहतरीन तरीके से पोर्ट्रे करने के लिए जो है वो एक नई टेक्निक भी आ गई थी और जिसका नाम था स्ट्रीम ऑफ कॉन्शियसनेस स्ट्रीम मीन्स नदी फ्लो ऑफ कॉन्शियसनेस एंड इन इजी वर्ड्स वी कैन से फ्लो ऑफ थॉट्स सो दिस वाज दिस वाज द नॉवल दैट शोज पर्सनल एम्प्टीनेस एंड लोनलीनेस अगर uh, हम अपने मॉडर्न मैन को देखें जो कि वर्ल्ड वॉर वन के बाद मॉडर्न मैन को देखें तो ही इज टोटली फ्रॉम इनवर्ड ही इज टोटली एम्पटी फ्रॉम इनर साइड सो नॉवल में जो है वो पर्सनल एम्पटीनेस और लोनलीनेस दिखाएगी देन वीमेन स्टार्टेड प्लेइंग द रोल ऑफ मेन वीमेन स्टार्टेड गेटिंग जॉब तो फीमेल फेमिनिज्म कह सकते हैं स्टार्ट हो गई थी या वीमेन के जो है ना वो बहुत अहम रोल को दिखाया गया वर्जीनिया वुल्फ बिजाते खुद जो है वो दैट इज एन इनकारनेशन ऑफ वीमेन लिबर्टी और उसके बाद जो है वो विक्टोरियन फेथ जो था उनका जो इंस्टीट्यूशन पे वैल्यूज पे फेथ जो था दैट वाज रिप्लेस्ड बाय क्वेश्चन इनके मॉडर्निज्म के जो वॉच वर्ड है वो है क्वेश्चन टेस्ट एंड एग्जाम आप क्वेश्चन करें और चीजों को एग्जाम करें देन इट वाज शार्प कंट्रास्ट विद विक्टोरियनिज्म एंड देन द लिटरेचर इज अ प्रोडक्ट ऑफ टेंशन बेसिकल लिटरेचर इज अ वर्क ऑफ टेंशन एंड देन वी वी कैन सी सब्जेक्टिविटी सो दीज वर द मेन फीचर्स ऑफ द नॉवल एंड नाउ इफ वी कम टू वर्स द नॉवलिस्ट ऑफ मॉडर्न इरा बिलीव मी देर आर टू मैनी नॉवलिस्ट एंड we cannot cover them all but i will try my level best to just have a birds eye view of all the main novelists but first of all let me tell you about the in, in the ancestors ancestral means wo novelist jo ke modern novels ko lane ka bias mani unme herbert george wallis hai herbert george wallis was the was the first english novel who had scientific training and was an uh, what a, uh, and he was try quite opposite to the classic uh, classic ones aur uska jo behtareen novel hai wo the time machine hai jo ki ek science fiction hai aur usko फर्स्ट साइंटिफिक रोमांस भी कहा जाता है उसने डोमेस्टिक नॉवेल्स भी लिखे थे उसके जो है वो डोमेस्टिक फिक्शन में किप्स आ जाता है उसके जो है वो एना विरोनिका जो है वो आ जाता है सोशल प्रॉब्लम प्लेस भी उसने लिखे थे फॉर एग्जांपल द व्यू ऑफ माइक लिवी जो है वो उसका कुछ इस तरह से एक नॉवल है बट इफ वी आर टॉकिंग अबाउट द मॉडर्न नॉवलिस्ट वी मस्ट सी दैट द मोस्ट फेमस एंड द मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट वन सो हैनरी जेम्स इज वन ऑफ द मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट नॉवलिस्ट ऑफ मॉडर्न इरा एंड ही वॉज एन अमेरिकन सो वो एक अमेरिकन था इंग्लैंड में रहने वाला नहीं था तो वो इंग्लैंड में जो एक पैसिमिज्म थी वो उससे अनटस्ट था एंड बेसिकली ही शोस द कंट्रास्टिंग वैल्यूज ऑफ अमेरिका एंड इंग्लैंड और उसका जो है वो एक अहम नॉवेल जो है वो द यूरोपियंस है और उसके बाद इफ वी कम अबाउट टू जोसेफ कॉर्नर्ड जोसेफ कॉर्नर्ड इज वन ऑफ द ग्रेटेस्ट नॉवल ऑफ ए मॉडर्न इरा एंड ही इज द पर्सन हु शोज एंटी हैवी करेक्टर्स कर्स इज द बेस्ट एग्जाम्पल एंड कॉर्नर वॉज द पर्सन टू एम्प्लॉय मल्टीपल नेटर्स यस ही वॉज द फर्स्ट पर्सन के जो कि है वो मल्टीपल नेटर्स लेके आते हैं हार्ट ऑफ डार्कनेस में भी हम देखते हैं कि फर्स्ट नेटर और है और फिर बाद में जो है वो सेकेंड नेटर और है और ही वॉज द पर्सन हु टेल्स स्टोरी इन फ्लैश बैक्स यस अपनी स्टोरी ऐसे सुनाता है कि वो फ्लैश बैक्स हमें दिखा और एक्सप्रेशनिज्म के बारे में बहुत ज्यादा फेमस है इंप्रेशनिज्म और स्ट्रीम ऑफ कॉन्शियसनेस जो है वो भी जोसेफ कॉर्नर ने इस्तेमाल की हुई है और जो मार्लो है मार्लो इसका बहुत ही अहम करेक्टर है वो इसकी सेवरल राइटिंग में हमें दिखाया जाता है और वो जोसेफ कॉर्नर खुद ये बताता है कि मार्लो हॉन्टेड मी इन द आवर्स ऑफ माई लॉन्लीनेस वो जब अकेला होता है तो मार्लो का करेक्टर जो है वो उसके पास आ जाता है अच्छा बेसिकली ही वॉज अ पॉलिश ब्रिटिश राइटर ही वॉज फ्रॉम पोलैंड एयर बेसिक इसके बारे में बात यह है कि ही वॉज द पर्सन हु हैड सर्व 16 years in the British Merchant Navy. ये जो है वो बंदा खुद सेलर रहा है इसलिए जो सी है या जो सी मैनशिप है वो इसके नॉवल्स में बहुत ज्यादा दिखाई जाती है और इसके अहम नॉवल्स में जो है वो द निगर ऑफ नार्सिस बहुत ज्यादा है अहम है हार्ट ऑफ डार्कनेस वन ऑफ द मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट नॉवल्स एंड द लास्ट वन इज लॉर्ड जेम और इन तीनों में जो है वो हमें एक बहुत ही अच्छे अच्छे करेक्टर मिलते हैं और ही एक्सप्लोर ह्यूमन साइकी एज वेल एंड देन वी हैव रुडियड किम्पलिंग रुडियड किम्पलिंग is also one of the uh, greatest novelist of uh, uh, modern era and he was the person who was inspired by east and he was born in india and educated in england but comes back in india and the famous novels are kim and the nolakha and then there is em foster he belongs to england and he was the person who belonged to west england but his research is on west or 
ए पैसेज टू इंडिया उसका बहुत ही अहम नावल है और एक और नावल है वेयर एंजल्स फेयर टू ट्रेड और ये जो नावल का टॉपिक टाइटल है बेसिकली इट वॉज टेकन फ्रॉम पोप्स वर्क देन वी कम टूवर्ड्स जेम्स चॉइस यस ये मैं पहले भी आपको बता चुकी हूँ कि बेसिकली मॉडर्निस्ट जो मूवमेंट है ये मॉडर्न इरा बेसिकली दो प्रोटेगोनिस्ट है एक जेम्स चॉइस है और एक वर्जीनिया वुल्फ है और जेम्स चॉइस वॉज द पर्सन हु यूज स्ट्रीम ऑफ कॉन्शियसनेस इन आयरलैंड अच्छा ये बातें आपने याद रखनी है कि स्ट्रीम ऑफ कॉन्शियसनेस जो वर्ड है जो टर्म है बेसिकली ये क्वाइन की थी विलियम जेम्स ने जो कि एक साइकोलॉजिस्ट था और इंग्लैंड में सबसे पहले जो है इस टर्म को इस्तेमाल किया वर्जीनिया वुल्फ में आयरलैंड में सबसे पहले इस टर्म को इस्तेमाल किया था जेम्स चॉइस में और फ्रांस में इस टर्म में इस टर्म को सबसे पहले इस्तेमाल किया था मार्सल प्राउस्ट में और जेम्स चॉइस इज द पर्सन हु इज प्रोटेगोनिस्ट ऑफ द मॉडर्न नॉवल एंड ही शोज द डेवलपमेंट ऑफ द आर्टिस्ट बेसिकली दैट इज ऑटोबायोग्राफिकल टच और इसके जो बेस्ट नॉवल में जो है द पोर्ट्रेट ऑफ द आर्टिस्ट एज अंग मैन एंड जुलिसियस जो कि ओडेसियस की एक कॉपी है और मिस्टर ब्लूम जो है वो ओडेसी हीरो के तौर पे जो है वो हमें काम करते हुए नजर आते हैं द डब्लिनर्स जो है वो उसकी शॉर्ट स्टोरी की एक कलेक्शन है एंड देन वर्जीनिया वुल्फ इज हियर वर्जीनिया फुल्फ के बारे में जो है वो अहम बात ये है कि ये ये बंदी जो है वो इसके पेरेंट्स की डेथ हो जाती है अर्ली एज में ही ठीक है जब ये छोटी थी तो ये बायपोलर डिसऑर्डर का शिकार रहती है पैसेमिज्म जो है वो इसमें थोड़ी सी आ जाती है सुसाइटल जो है वो कई मरतबा जो है इसने सुसाइड करने की भी कोशिश की थी और शी बिलोंग टू ब्लूम्स बड़ी ग्रुप ब्लूम्स बड़ी ग्रुप जो है वो बड़े अहम अहम अच्छे अच्छे राइटर्स का ग्रुप था जो कि इससे ये उससे बिलोंग करती थी और उसने होग्राथ प्रिंटिंग प्रेस अपने हस्बैंड के साथ मिलकर जो है उसकी बुनियाद भी रखी थी और फेमिनिज्म दिखाती है और बेसिकली इसने जो है वो सिक्स नॉवल्स लिखे मिसिस डॉलवे जो है वो इसका सबसे अहम नॉवल है स्ट्रीम ऑफ कॉन्शियसनेस बिल्कुल इसमें इस्तेमाल करती है एक वन डे पे स्टोरी जो है और उसके बाद द लाइट हाउस नाइट एंड डे द वाइट आउट मिसिस डॉलवे और द वेब्स ये जो है वो इसके अहम नॉवलिस्ट है उसके बाद ऑलडोस हक्सले है उसके जो अहम नॉवलिस्ट है उनमें से ब्रेव न्यू वर्ल्ड है दैट इज बेसिकली ए टाइप ऑफ डिस्टोपियन फिक्शन डिस्टोपियन फिक्शन हम सबको पता है दिस इज क्वाइट ऑपोजिट यूटोपियन फिक्शन इसमें जहां चीजें अपनी वर्स्ट फॉर्म में दिखाई जाती हैं ठीक है लाइक फॉर एग्जांपल जॉर्ज ऑर्वल जो कि अहम है उसका 1984 और एक नॉवल है द हैंडमेड टेल्स और ये हक्सले का ब्रेव न्यू वर्ल्ड ये तीनों जो है वो ये डिस्टोपियन फिक्शन में आ रहे होते हैं सो so, ए- एक और अहम नॉवलिस्ट है डी एच लॉर्डस दैट वॉज निटोरियस एज अ नॉवलिस्ट ऑफ सेक्स ही वॉज द पर्सन हु इज रिकॉर्डेड एज सेक्स नॉवलिस्ट एंड ही शोज यू नो मच सेक्सुअल फीचर्स इन हिस्स नॉवल और उसका जो है वो लेडी चैटरलेस लवर ये एक ऐसा नॉवल था जो कि बिकॉज ऑफ वलगैरिटी इट वॉज बैंड एंड इट वॉज नॉट पब्लिश एंड इट वॉज नॉट पब्लिश ऑन सिटी लेवल और इसको गवर्नमेंट लेवल पर कुछ इस तरह से पब्लिश नहीं करवाया गया बल्कि इसने इसको प्राइवेटली पब्लिश पब्लिश करवाया था और यह बैंड भी हो गया था लोगों ने फिर भी इसे बहुत ज्यादा खरीदा था और ही गॉट फेमस एज वेल और इसका एक और अहम नॉवल है सन्स एंड लवर्स है जो कि उसकी बायोग्राफिकल टच है जिसमें जो है वो इसमें हमें टू सम एन एक्सटेंट जो है वो इडिबस रिवॉल्ट भी नजर आता है Then we have William Golding. William Golding जो है वो भी एक अहम नॉवलिस्ट है उसका लॉर्ड ऑफ फ्लाइज जो है वो सबसे अहम जो है वो नॉवल है जिसमें जो है वो हमें दिखाता है कि एक ग्रुप ऑफ यंग बॉयज है वो किस तरह जो है वो एक प्लेस को जो है वो विजिट करते हैं फिर वहां पर जो है वो फंस के रह जाते हैं सो दीज वर और जॉर्ज ऑर्वल इज एन अदर इंपॉर्टेंट नॉवलिस्ट नाइनटीन एटी फोर नॉवल जो है उसका बहुत अहम है एक्चुअली देर आर टू मेनी नॉवल दैट वी कैन नॉट कवर इट इवन इफ वी ट्राई आवर लेवल बेस्ट बट इवन देन so i have tried to convey all the material that is needed being a student of english literature at this stage mm-hmm. so this was all from my side and uh, i think so it's enough so allah hafiz from my side and take care well i must accept that uh, this happens to be the most precise and comprehensive work on novel well bravo ms rabia you did a wonderful job we wish you success this is indeed satkaitarya which uh, will keep helping many people yet to come so thank you very much for your uh, efforts time and the energy you put in it was really marvelous and the content was mind blowing so we all are thankful to you for your efforts